so today I thought I would film my August favorites. Um, I have a very mix of skincare and cosmetics, but the vast majority are cosmetic. I think I'll start with the three eyeshadows that I'd like to share with you guys today. Um, one of them is really old. It was a gift given to me by, I believe, my sister quite a long time ago. But um, I didn't really start using it until recently. Um, basically, it is the Hard Candy Meteor Eyes Baked Eyeshadow in number 275, Black Hole. So what it looks like is it's a glittery uh, eyeshadow standard. But what I like about it is um, the glitter doesn't really show up that much, so it looks more like a basic black eyeshadow, but with a little bit of extra dimension, I guess I should say. So I'll just swatch it for you. So here it is. As you can see, it's not like super, super pigmented, which is another reason why I like it, because um, I don't really wear black eyeshadows that much, and um, when I do wear them, I do have them in my palette. So I like to use this one for setting my um, pencil eyeliner if I line my eyes in black pencil, which I usually do. So I think this is really good for that. And if you look, there's not a lot of glitter showing up, so it doesn't really get into my eyes or anything. I do like this for the price. I believe it's maybe $2 at Walmart or something. I think it's a really good deal. Especially if you don't want like a super, super pigmented um, black eyeshadow, because you can always build up the pigment. Another one that I bought a long time ago, but I never really started using it until recently. This is the MAC Extra Dimension Eyeshadow in Havana. I think it was limited edition, so I'm not sure if you can get it anymore. But I really do like the formula of these eyeshadows. So it's just like a soft golden brown color. It kind of matches my hair. Um, in the video, my hair looks like really dark brown, but it's actually kind of auburn, and this has red undertones in it. So I like to use it to line them underneath my eyes, and I think like, when I do use it on my lids, it does bring out my eye color as well. There it is. So as you can see, this one is quite pigmented, and it's very high quality. I really, really like the texture of this eyeshadow more than anything else, so it's really interesting. It, it feels like... Um, Kind of like a cream eyeshadow, and it's really, really soft, and it's also easy, easy to blend. So if you can, I do recommend picking these up if you find a color that you like. They are pretty pricey, so I wouldn't really buy one unless you plan on getting a lot of use out of it. And another, I have another MAC eyeshadow I'd like to show you guys. Um, I don't like it so much as for the formula of the eyeshadow, but I more like it for the color. Um, this one is Fluke. And it is a frost finish. See, it's kind of a silvery white. Almost, also almost got creamy undertones to it. And what I like to use this for is I like to use it as a highlight. Um, maybe like on my nose or whatever. Because this does blend very well. So I can get like a very sheer shimmer. And it's also very good for um, highlighting under your brows. Or um, brightening up your eyes. Because if you're like me and you like basic makeup, uh, sometimes you want your eyes to appear wider, more awake, brighter. You can just use it on your lids too. You can see I've got it right underneath Havana. And it barely shows up against my skin, but um, that's quite why I like it. Just a little bit of extra shimmer if you use it as a highlight or if you use it on your eyelids. Next, I'm going to show you a mascara. Um, I actually have quite a love-hate relationship with this mascara. And this is the Etude House Lash Perm. Um, in the waterproof version. This is a Korean brand. And if you see the packaging, it's actually really quite cute, I guess. It's kind of got like a crown design-ish thingy going on up here. And uh, it's got some like, some sort of design around the bottom here. There's the brush. And it does have some problems with clumping. That's why I don't like this mascara. But what I do like about it is um, I have stick straight eyelashes. Um, mine are actually quite long, but I have such a hard time curling them, even with a heated curler. So what I like about this is the mascara is really, it's a sticky formula. So I'll put like maybe one or two like thin coats of this on my eyelashes and let it dry, and then I'll put on my actual favorite mascara. So if you have a difficulty getting your eyelashes to curl, I do recommend picking up the Etude House Lash Firm. Um, when I bought it in Korea, it was like $7, um, 
yeah, seven hundred Canadian dollars, I believe. So if you can get it online, it'd probably also be pretty cheap. Um, I recommend giving it a try. So I have another eye product for you, and this is the Pixie Endless Eye Silky Pen in number nine Oyster Glow. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's almost a flesh tone, kind of more gold on the golden side um, eyeliner. And I like to use it in my waterline to brighten my eyes. Um, and also, I think the packaging is really cute. It's like a soft green color with um, flowers along the sides. I think it's really pretty. And it's also really quite a good product. Like it does last on my waterline, which actually surprised me. The next item is a cheap eyebrow pencil that I bought. Um, it's the Annabelle brand in. Yeah, Annabelle Eyebrow Pencil Crayon, Hypoallergenic, um, in color 030 Auburn. And this matches my hair perfectly. And I really like it because um, since it's a harder pencil, um, it takes a while to draw it in. And I'm still not used to doing the whole eyebrow filling in thing. It's a good color. Um, if, I don't know if they sell Annabelle in countries other than Canada, but if you can, I'd recommend going and checking them out because um, it's cheap and they had quite a few different colors for eyebrows and uh, usually when I see brands in Canada anyway at the drugstore um, they don't really have that many colors they have maybe three different colors for your eyebrows and I could never find one that fit me they're either too light or too dark and this one fits me perfectly so go check them out hopefully you can find one for your eyebrows um, next product is something I got from Sephora I've had it for a while um, for a while I had a love-hate relationship with this product, but recently I really started to love it because um, like, it was, it's a good price for the quality of this product. Normally I do not like Sephora products. I keep freaking buying them, but then I still end up not liking them. But I'm glad I took a chance on this one. Um, this is the Sephora Smoothing and Brightening Concealer. Uh, I think it was meant to be a dupe for the uh, YSL, I don't know, I'm really bad at pronouncing French, like Touche clot or something like that and um, that was way too expensive for me especially because I don't always need to use concealer I, I have pretty decent skin but um, I do like to use this one and it's a good color so the brush looks like this and you spin this and it'll click and then the product will come out uh, that's one reason why I don't like this is because when I click it um, not a lot of product comes out and I feel like really press hard against my face to get this to work or against my fingers so that some of it like comes actually comes out of the brush at the bottom part it usually gets stuck here um but when it does come out i think it's it's got decent coverage and um like it doesn't really sink into the fine lines under my eyes and it matches my skin tone because i'm really pale but i also have yellow undertones and that's what this has so i think it's a really good match for me so i do recommend checking this out this is color number two in light. I have just a couple more things to show you guys today. Um, this is something I got from Korea. Look at the cute packaging. It's like a kitty. It's got a kitty face on it. And this is the... I have to read the Korean. Tony Moly Katsu Wink Lipstick in number one, Peach Vanilla. And what it looks like is it looks like a really bright pink color like in person it looks hot pink but on my lips I'm wearing it today it actually just comes out like as a light somewhat bright pink but it's not hot pink so I really do like the color of this on the lips and it was really cheap so I do recommend picking it up if you like it for five dollars which is what I believe this cost me um, the color lasts like quite a long time and it, it I find it sinks into my lines just a little bit every once in a while but if I use a lip balm let the lip balm set for a few minutes um, I don't have a problem with that so yeah it is drying so definitely do use a lip balm underneath it anyway and then you won't have a problem but I mean it's super cute packaging and it's a really pretty color so why not right this is a brush this is the Sephora mineral powder brush um, number 45 I didn't I bought this for uh, a while ago and then I didn't use it because um, I did used to use powder on my face but now I don't really use powder as much unless I think I'm going to be out for like a really long time and I want to sip my BB cream. As you can see, it's a really thick brush. 
and I do like to blend my BB cream out, on, out with it. Like what I'll do is I'll pour some BB cream on my hand and I'll just dot it onto my face and then blend it out. And I think this works really well for it. And I get a nice even coverage and it blends well and it looks really natural. So I really do like this brush. All right, next. This is the Lancome Double Action Eye Makeup Remover. And it's, as you can see, it's got oil and I think some sort of liquid up there. So you, for this one, you have to shake it up. And I do really like this. Because the reason why I needed eye makeup remover, I never used makeup remover before. My uh, cleanser's got it off fine. Um, but was for this, the mascara I just showed you guys from YouTube House. This you need freaking rocks to get off of your eyes. So that's why I ended up getting an eye makeup remover. And this one I think works really well. Like, it takes me just a couple of swipes off my eyelashes and that stuff is gone. So I do recommend checking out the Lancome Double Action Eye Makeup Remover. It's really gentle. I have uh, really sensitive eyes. It doesn't sting my eyes at all. It feels really soft and, oil and it's, like, it's like a gentle oil. So I don't know, just works really well. Check it out. All right, and the last thing I wanna show you, it's actually sample sizes. But when I was in Korea, I bought so many like different things. So I was always getting tons of samples. And these, this is the Nature Republic Fresh Green Tea collection. Um, this is the toner. So yeah, this is the toner. And this is the emulsion. And emulsion is basically just like a really light lotion. Um, I'm kind of regretting, like I didn't really start using these until I was about to leave Korea. And I'm kind of regretting not buying them because I mean, I do use a different toner on a regular basis, but this one is actually really refreshing. Like, even I used it last night too. This is like, I use, this is like all I use for one go, not even half. So yeah, these samples lasted me a long time. Um, it's just so refreshing on my face and like, I think this would be a perfect, like, morning toner. And I think I'm definitely going to try and order it online if possible. Because I really, really like these. And this one, like, especially for summer. Like, I'm sure any emulsion would do the same thing. But, like, they're lightly scented. And I don't know. Just, like, I really can't express how refreshing these were on my face. Like, just feels so, so nice. So definitely, if you can, I would recommend uh, trying them out. Because it's, it's Nature Republic. So I don't think it'd be that expensive. But yeah, uh, those are my August favorites. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and um, comment down below if you have anything to offer me for advice and see you guys later.